I am going to teach you about today about the weathering and its causes. So, uh, what is weathering? A weathering is a process by which it erodes the rock, stone, cliffs, and the areas where uh, the water touches. So, these it takes time. It takes a period of time to erode these process. So, you can look over here with this stone. It's also the same process of weathering. And what is the process? What is the cause of this one? This is because of the uh, rainfall and a period of time. It takes time to make these kinds of holes. You can look over here. But my hand is coming down, going down. So these are the process by which they erode these areas. Like it takes time. How it takes time? Because uh, the rainfall in daytime and nighttime it gets uh, freezed. So even in the uh, rainfall it touch again and again it take a time and it make a this process so here we find uh, the first uh, uh, type of uh, weathering of water what when the water fall from uh, water come from that side what happening it erode when it come with the full speed in the mountainous area so it erode the mountains as well so that is a kind of also a weathering you can look at it over here it make it smooth why in summertime water come up from this and it erode that area then you will find over here look at this one and you will look the process by which make it make it a cracks on the mountain as well like you can also look over there while the the water go touch over that wall area so it fell down so you can look on the down how they change the shape how it make it smooth and this is why because of the water it follow the river flow and it erode that areas stone is in daytime what is this process how it crack the pro, uh, process is the cause of this crack is when in daytime rainfall or snowfall uh, a snowfall over here or rainfall over here what happening in night time it get freeze so what happening it expand their areas of this crack you can also look on that stone maybe in within 100 years after 100 years or 200 years this would be also crack with a big crack it would be so you can look over here it is also the process is take time it take time to this process Sure. Okay, uh, another process of the water uh, of the river, wha what happening? It changes shapes and it erodes the areas. You can look over here, the areas of different waterways are there. You can look from the, my backside, uh, that water, some are going on that side, some are coming over here, some are big, some are small. What happening? Water is uh, eroding the soil and it go uh, find a ways for their uh, way. So you can look on the Backside, this is also the process of water one. Uh, here, you can look about this stone, how it come from in the uh, forward, in front. So, this is the process by biologically. Uh, it's because of that plants are coming in the middle of the cracks. So, what happened? It expand his places and it erode. It also take lot of time to this process. Of another side of the stone, you can look over here. You can also look over here how that erode it take time and I will show you something else it make because of water it make place over here where water stored here because of of this stone so this is also the process of the water rainfall or snowfall so this is the stone you can look the shape how it change because of weathering uh, here uh, we look about this process how it's happening the two expand it make a way over here this process you can look over here the way is because of wind erosion wind come from the southern side and it takes this one and only the stones were remaining over here if we will touch over here look at here it would be fell down so what happening the uh, wind just touch over here the small particle of soil uh, sand it take with us and go it and deposited it on another place you can come over here Look the process of how, what are the ways that the soils were not found over here, only the stones remaining over here. So it take also process, this is called a wind erosion. 
process of sunlight weathering that we can look over here the shape of the upper side of my surrounding over here mm -hmm. to there you find it is a uh, reddish so if we will go in the more depth it would be different color this red color is the process by because of sunlight every time over here so it also change chemical reaction it it, it change the uh, uh, color of the soil so uh, if you come to near to me i will show you on the depth and you will find over here black and you can look on the upper side it change it to red color the uh, soil and the stone so you can look on the depth there is different color of black one look, look at here and you can change this one over here look at the two different of the soil because of weathering uh, the color of the soils and the stone you can see it, it's a reddish why because of this is the process of sunlight when it's sun come and it change the uh, colors of that soil so if you come over here i will show you about look at the upper uh, surface how it is this and now you can look on the depth if you look on here that is two different color of the soil and look at this one and look at this one it's different so this is called a sunlight process